Chavez y Chavez. Here with Sean Jitsu. Yeah. Okay. We have a problem. Okay. A lot of people think that this world is going to end by a zombie invasion. That it's going to end in 2012. You know what? I think they might be right. But not because of those reasons. There's an invasion going on, Sean. You know this invasion? It's real. Ready? The white belts. The white belts. They're coming. Man, white belts. They're a disgrace. I mean, go to Social Camp. Check out my videos. Okay? They're virgin. They're tight. Nobody wants tight boho. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. I have a theory. Speaking of 2012, my good friend Chavez says, the Mayans, the white belts, they were. They around anymore? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my belt. I hope you didn't eat lunch recently. You're gonna lose it. Good evening. We've got Sean Chavez here. Here with another episode. We're getting a lot of questions on our social cam networks, on the interwebs, about this piece of fabric you see in front of me. What is this, yeah? This is a white belt. What do we do with white belts? We give it to people that are, that are beginners in jiu-jitsu, in this lovely sport and martial art that we call the gentle art, yeah? Why, though? Why the white belt for beginners? I'll tell you why. White, it's blank, it's empty, represents nothing. Just like beginners on jiu-jitsu. They're blank and empty. Their brains are empty. They represent no value. Zero. They are nobodies. They are the cows of our sport, yeah? First person to walk on the mat, you look at him and say, who's this idiot, huh? They're like cows, the cows of jiu-jitsu. Cows. White. Nothing. White belts. Nobodies. Now Chavez here, he has some binions of his own. You know, it changes and interlocks depending on who you ask around this world. Two people right here of this world. Chavez, why don't you share some of your opinions on the white belt? Man, what I think about this belt right here, okay, beginning, okay, pure. Wow. I mean, pure like a virgin, okay. At first, they're really tight when they step on the mat. I say tight for two reasons. Tight, because the white means pure, like a virgin tight. Then tight on the mat, right? They step on the mat and tie up with them. They're all, ugh, ugh. Stay nice and tight. I don't want to be exposed. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Slowly, the slow training. You just open it up and they start to become loose and flexible, you know? Their mind opens to more possibilities. With a white belt, they're very closed-minded, okay? A lot of closed guard, a lot of, a lot of that crackhead control, you know? Crackhead coke white, see? Another comparison. So that's what I think, Sean. I think, I think it's white like a virgin. That hasn't been touched. Wow, you hear that, guys? Like a virgin. Dumb virgins. That was deep, Chavez. Every time I see a white belt, I want to kill a seagull. No seagulls were harmed in the making of this. Because <laughs> I have a problem. We all have a problem. Two words. White belts. White belts. 
gone. I'll start us off, huh? Fucking white belt. Coming to the gym. Talk about want to learn. Rubber guard. I saw it in Hey, white belt, don't bounce the ball on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Before we were rudely interrupted. <laughs> Fucking white belts. <laughs> Fucking white belts. Take my man Chavez. All out of sorts when he seized him. I even hate myself for wearing this white gee. Chavez, give us some insight on your white belt hatred. Where it comes from. White belts, man. They think they can do whatever they want. Ezekiel from guard. Cross collar from guard. Americana from guard. I'm like, what the fuck is this man? So you know what I do? I toehold them. Yeah. yeah. They don't know what that is. Little bitches. So look. Wipe out yesterday. I come to side control. This idiot still's got a guillotine. Yeah, finish that guillotine wipe out. Go ahead, try, try, try. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll find a, some lucky charms at the end of the rainbow too, you douchebag, huh? White belts. White belts. Man, I, I, I had this white belt start off in my back, right? On back control. Then he fucking crosses his ankles. Who does he think he is? Jesus Christ? So, I put my ankles on top of him. Now, he's in a wheelchair. White belts. White belts. Fucking white belts, huh? Pardon my language. These white belts just really burn my cell up. I try to tan a lot in the, in, the, in the sun. Too damn wide. Every time I look myself in the mirror, I gotta see that I resemble these fucking peasant white belts. White belts, man. I think they can do whatever they want, bring whoever they want. Oh, they think, oh, I did the intro class at MMA. I do jujitsu. I'm badass. They go show their friends. Then they get spanked. Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. They're a disgrace to our sport. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let's break down some of the dumb things you've always heard from white belts. I'll start us off, okay? I train UFC. Get the fuck out of here. You can't train UFC. It's a fucking organization, man. That's like me saying, I train WWE. You get it, white belt? Do you? Don't ask me what Nagi is. It's no gi, idiot. And you should be in your gi anyway. Fucking guys, man. Oh, you wear pajamas when you roll? Oh, what about a real life situation? Oh, you're not gonna use a jacket to choke some dude out? Fine. That's your case. Go stick to karate or some bullshit like that. Go to a McDojo. Go break boards. Dick. White belts. I see white belts. 100% of rape victims are white belts. <laughs> Go break boards. Dick. Good evening, guys. Today, we have a special guest. Flew him straight out of Japan. Godzilla himself. Godzilla, I wanted to ask you what is your first opinion of white belts? White belts. White belts and black belts? White belts. I think a white belt. Huh? <laughs> Why fail? You know, the, the crumbs on the ground, the grass that you step on, the shit on the bottom of your shoe. Why fail? Those guys. Purple belts. They're fucking idiots sometimes. <laughs>